What's up, guys? Sorry for the bad line. This is better. Ah, oh, just flashbanged. <laughs> just flashbanged myself and the, and the video. Uh, my neck's a bit small, man. Uh, I got a, I got a beta male neck. I don't really care. Uh, I want to make this video because I just saw a tweet by Luke Belmont recently. How he's talking about how AI will kill schools. And I do agree with this notion, but I don't think this will happen just yet. You know, it isn't happening as immediately as people think. And hear me out. And like not to disregard the value of school completely, you know, if you complete school and you work extremely hard, you can develop a very, very important, valuable work ethic. This line fucking sucks. You can develop a really important, valuable work ethic that try It's out. Look at how I did that out of the video cheekily. Um, let's increase the quality of this. Is this better? I don't think so. I think the camera quality is still weird. Um, if I did sound like I have an idea, it might be a bad idea. It worked. Only problem is I got a bunch of shit on my desk now, which I don't want to have. Okay, back in the video. Got the line like this. See that? It's so scuffed. It's on my printer. <laughs> Let me take a picture so you guys can see. Picture right here. Okay, yeah, that's funny. Pretty good. Um, So, so with the you know new, new introduction introduction of AI, a lot of jobs, a lot of people, a lot of things are heavily streamlined, and I think that you know school is one of, going definitely going to be one of these things, and I think that you know Luke Belmont is completely and utterly correct when he says yeah you know school will be obsolete um, thing because of AI, and then you know we can go through the tweet together in a minute, but and then he mentions stuff about in the, in the threads at least like how you know. It can do everything. So you can put images in, and then it'll tell you everything. It's so easy, etc., etc., etc. I agree, but you know, my general take on this, and I think the general, not necessarily the general consensus, but the, um, the general take that I'm having, I wonder, might look nice, though, can't I? The general take that I'm having is that AI will not take over schools, at least for the time being, because it is not a guaranteed system for success. First of all, because you have but like genuine fucking idiots use AI. You will, you, don't, you will not get far because of it. You know, people that automate their work using AI instead of actually trying to use it to learn, uh, which is fine by the way. If it's like just general work productivity things, but if it's school where you're in your fun, like fundamental stages of of growing and learning, you need to have basic skills. This would not prove to be the best option. It, you know, ChatGPT. It's only as powerful as what you put in, and if your mind is weak the mind is of a child, then it's very, very unlikely you'll find success in it. If you guys catch on my drift. But yeah, I do I'm not gonna completely disregard the notion that, you know, AI cannot take over the future as well. Like that would be dumb of me not to say like, oh yeah, AI, AI will not take over um, the fucking future because it will. Like it, it will streamline everything and make everything easier. But um for now I don't think it provides a perfect way to just um to just read on education as we see it. 
it doesn't provide a perfect way of like you know a perfect solution a perfect way of changing the way everything has been for a long time especially with the fact that a lot of our parents and our guardians whatever you know they still think of you know conventional normal education going to school nine to five not nine to five eight to three is like still fine you know six hours of school every single day they still think it's fine and they still herald it and they still champion it and you know a lot of kids my age especially the ones like i was supposed to be self-proven and grinding and everything they still like go to school they still go to uni they still go to this do that because of what social pressure and because it's okay it's okay it's normal it's fun and one of my friends told me that he wants to go to uni because it looks fun but he's supposed to be like on his stuff improvement grind making business making money getting muscle etc et et but like, he wants to go to uni because it looks fun so <laughs> um <laughs> that's not to insult him or anything it's just like there's a lot of social programming in this like it's, it's a lot of you know social conditioning when it comes to this and it's very very difficult to break out that social conditioning because everyone else is doing it right um if you wanted to genuinely learn school isn't the best place you could go online you can learn everything but what people don't want is to genuinely learn people want qualifications people want the, this nice certificate that says hey i'm important and people want you know the social interaction the fun the partying the casual hookups that's what people want <laughs> They want to be. They want to feel accepted, and they want to feel like everything's okay. And they want. They want to waste time. That's the. That's the majority. That's the majority of people going into the education system, following the education system, following the normal path. Bro, <laughs> AI is not going to help them. <laughs> it's not going to help them. It's going to be helpful for their high level careers, and that's it. Um, also with the burning up on the notion previously that I talked about before, you know, the majority of our parents are completely and utterly indoctrined into school. They think school is, you know, correlated to success, but this is not necessarily the case. How many people do I know? And maybe you know personally, they go to school, you know, primary, secondary, um, college, university, I don't know how it's like in America, um, preschool, elementary, middle school, high school college and then yeah college and university is pretty much the same thing in america i don't know why they call it college then stupid but it's a stupid country anyway so okay um yeah they go through the normal system but like how many of them really are successful and after a while you know after 10 20 years they're in shape they have a nice life they've got a good job you know doing whatever they want oh no they're working a mind-numbing grueling job and not really achieving anything and you know getting nowhere in their lives fine you know they peaked they peaked in high school they peaked in college fine you know, what 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 else can i say really how, how can i be like oh yeah so you 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 are successful like how can i look down on these people when majority of them they don't want success and if they didn't want success i'll look down on them they really don't want success and if they do want success but they still do the mundane normal bullshit then they clearly don't want success because <laughs> they don't do anything that's going to correlate to them being successful but yeah, that's ir irrelevant. Most of our parents still think uh, school is correlated and conventional education is correlated to success and it could potentially be, but it will take a, uh, a very, very long time and it will take a lot of money. <laughs> and even then, there's potentially no guarantee because if you're trying to become a doctor or engineer or lawyer, for example, in, in England, or I don't know about an American situation because I'm not American, a junior doctor gets paid £19,000 per year. 20k 21k for the first three years i believe that's what they told me when i was studying biology at college that's criminal it is incredibly difficult to become doctor and even after you become doctor like it it isn't that lucrative <laughs> there's no financial incentive it's fucking it's crazy you know hospitals in the uk like this leads to like you know because of real life real life issues not like a hypothetical situation that people come up with though so if everyone became a doctor then their life will be so easy if they, it's, it's weird because simultaneously if you make it easy to become a doctor unqualified individuals can become doctors you make it difficult to become a doctor very very little individual can go through that path to become a doctor leading to a shortage of doctors 
leading to a lot of people suffering. My head like this. <laughs> the way it is, like, uh, uh, I'm, uh, it's just, it's just, it's just weird, though, you know. Let's go to. Oh my God, like. No, no, no. It's like shit. This is the tweet. Schools and universities become obsolete. The time is ticking. Oops, I see skipped the end. Oopsies. GBT4 is kind of crazy with it though, you can input images, which is crazy. I'm cleaning this diagram of the human cell and see GBT4 version. And I'm simulating, hey, I'm a ninth grade biology student struggling in school, help me understand this. And check this out. Look at the ability of this model to list out all 18 of these labels on this diagram and provide accurate explanations of what each one of these is. It's incredible. Like, every single student in the world now has an expert tutor that not only can they chat with it, but they... This Wi-Fi is crazy. <sighs> they can show things, which is crazy, right? And so you can go through and have this whole conversation. So, right, for example, I, I simulate that this was. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just waiting patiently for this to load. If this will load. That has a very detailed um, diagram. I'm kind of happy I didn't do biology now because I would have not gone far with this. Like, I'm not becoming a doctor. I mean, if motherfuckers gonna, gonna become a doctor, like at least you're supposed to get paid, bro. And there should, be, there should be at least a financial incentive in order to become a doctor. Like, come on me, brother. Like, what? Like if there's no financial incentive to become a doctor, then what is the point? You know, if like if you're learning all this shit struggling for years in school, getting so much debt, you might as well get paid like fifty k, seventy five k um, a year in order to become a doctor as, as a junior, and then later on hundred k, which would be incredibly expensive, but it would be a good boom, allocation, taxpayer money instead of being put into the pockets of politicians. We don't talk about that. So whatever, man. Anyway, yeah, the AI is pretty useful. Let's move to the rest of the thread. Ah, oh, this is so annoying, man. Ain't no way. Escape. Let me escape. Okay, I can press escape. I can go. I think universities will be only be able to offer a small handful of degrees in the future. Um, for example, doctor, lawyer, engineer. Engineering will be obsolete as well. I mean, not necessarily, but like it will only become obsolete. Cool transition. Boom. You know, engineering and all these other jobs will only become obsolete when, you know, parents fully allow the school systems to change. I'm not, no, I'm, I'm wrong about this. So my take, my take's wrong about this.
you know, this is the take I wanted to make. These jobs and these things won't and these jobs and these things won't truly be affected by AI until a large majority of people adopt AI into their daily lives. And the reality of the situation is I'm gonna make every fucking thing here. Make it like a thicker, you know? And the reality of the situation is the majority of adults, parents, like they fail to adopt AI successfully within their lives. You know, I introduced my mum to Jack GBT. She barely uses it. It's right, it'll be very useful for her, but she doesn't use it every manually. Like until children like me, I'm eighteen, but I'm I'm a young adult effectively. But until children become adults, and children yeah, that, that do become adults realize the power of AI for implementing in their daily lives, we won't truly see a change in our world just yet. Like this is just the beginning, bro. Because when we start adopting it to our kids, and then our kids' kids start using it, then you know, a huge change happens. And why is it so smooth all of a sudden? What the hell? What was that? What was that, brother? <laughs> what was that? Okay, transition. Boom. Boom. Um, this guy says, engineering will be affected. Wow, maybe medical degrees, degrees will be the only thing they can offer. Oh, pardon me. That will probably be gone soon as well. In my opinion, labor is the last job to get taken from the eye. What the hell? Which side of the brain is the hydrocephalus located in the image? The hydrocephalus the image appears to be located on the left side of the brain. The hydrocephalus the image appears to be located on the right side of the brain. Hydrocephalus in this image appears to be located on the right side of the brain from the perspective. I would avoid the note that medical images are typically viewed in a radiological prevention where the right side of the image corresponds to the patient's left side. Okay. Jeez. Prediction six months ago. Any form. So this guy asked, so what jobs will be affected? And this guy said, any form of blue collar job. Construction, plumbers, electricians, etc. Open AI came with predictions six months ago about what jobs have been affected. Jesus Christ. Let me time let's explore that. Occupation with the high exposure, animal scientists at six, research science, specialists, survey researchers, geez, tax preparers, mathematicians. 100% of these people exposed web and digital interface designers. Writers, authors destroyed. Web and, digital web and digital interface designers destroyed. Financial quantitative analysis destroyed. Tax preparers destroyed. Mathematicians destroyed. Jesus Christ. 100% is crazy. Let's see the PDF. What the hell, lag? Okay. A lot of people are going to be destroyed. Search marketing strategists, 12, 14%. Graphic designers, 13%. Investment fund managers, 13%. Financial managers, 30%. Well, this, well, this is a good job to get in then. Accountants and auditors, new analysts, for journalists. Jesus Christ. What will 86 jobs as fully exposed, as in fully exposed to the power of AI. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm crazy. Oh, God, it. that's crazy, bro. UBI. Thanks to the link, Tyler. Do you think this will cause worldwide civil unrest due to so many people being out of work? Or do you see this as a positive event? I think we will eventually see UBI. My prediction will be lazy people will continue to be lazy and innovative, innovative will continue to innovate. Life will be easier for lazy people, it will become harder for people who want purpose. That's fair. Isn't, isn't this guy a part of my thing? What do you think are the best future proof occupations? That's a good question. What the hell, fake Luke Belmar? Lazy only because there won't be much to do, but we should get tra traveling space in no time. It reinforces. 
Plus, I'll be creating communities with AK, creation AK science and engineering at the core, creating and pricing out industrial design lab. There's OTT, bro. If you really need three monitors like that. What the hell? Dude is a Twitter connoisseur. That's why they're trying to restrict the usage of AI everywhere. Schools and universities now have special detectors made from AI to restrict the students from using AI. In pre-elementary high and high schools, yeah, but I went to uni this year and they're actually really encouraging it. So, it so looks like colleges are... What the hell are these fake who Belmars, bro? Homeschool is about to explode. School is so useful, Al. Wow. Bro, she cannot chill out on Guardian. She's like transition. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is that? Angelina is in love, but like, we get look at the toilet now. Jesus Christ, man. OTT much? Uh, yeah. Until through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. You spend a hundred days in this room with a random stranger for five hundred grand. Your door is locked. If one of you, but one of you leave for day one hundred. This is sick. Can't lie. Only a hundred days, bro. I would be the most disciplined motherfucker around. This is sick. Where's the toilet? Boom. There. Would you have rather have thirty million dollars or thirty million dollar friends? Let's make sure it costs a dollar for everyone. If they're low, they're gonna five dollars. Ten. I might, I might push a mouse for fifty. Okay. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's really fucking good. Yeah, yeah. On the ground, he's sensational. That, that kid has some fucking serious jiu-jitsu. But it's just, he's not known for being a boxer. No. It's like, the, you know, you're, you're only going to learn so much in a certain amount of time. Right. I mean, it's not like Dylan is an absolutely terrible striker. Yeah. Is that Sean O'Malley? That's weird. Here's why Logan Paul on steroids, crazy. What the hell? This AI go crazy, bro. Nothing new posts. I love Dylan. How can you hate Dylan?
Is this, isn't this Fade's girlfriend? This guy's a legend. Insane gameplay. Four squads left. What is happening? That's gonna explode, bro. Draw on the, on the curve in general. Oh my god, this guy is so drunk. Crash twice. This guy is so dumb, that's crazy. What is BJ machine? Banana jockey? What did you do outside? What are you doing? Why are you nails so long? What is that? Put the grease in the jar, put the grease in the jar, go ahead and pour it down the drain. I don't get it. The oil? Put it in the jar anyway. I don't, I, don't, I don't throw it away. Isn't putting a jar in the better? Put it down the drain and then your drain is blocked. Be me, wage slave in the big corpo. This guy who's titled interview coordinator. The problem is to take people off the couch to the person to be there. Face when I have a project manager now. What's wrong with being a project manager? No! Not a big boo friend. I don't even follow you, man! Jesus Christ, Zorba, that's not nice. Just HS Tiki Toki, bro. Pretty sure he is a scammer, but like. I don't know. It's not horrible. It's not like an evil scum of the earth. Shoot him. Get the gun. Bro. I'm done with wanting to serve him. Scared to walk me as keep it. I'm about to. <laughs> Slammed in concrete, crazy. What the hell? It's all Indians.
Why would you gamble? First place. This is a video. What the hell, bro? What the That's pretty much it for the video. I wanted to go over that thread and I wanted to say what I wanted to say about Luke Belmar and stuff. Um, <laughs> personally, I think it's, it's, it is like, it is true, the value of GBT, the value of AI, but it is also true on the flip side that implementation will always be slow because people are slow. And implementation and actual ex execution will be slow because people don't work with any, with like, implementation will always be slow because people don't work with um, like an incredibly high level of productivity and shit out of my hands people aren't industrious people aren't you know willing to accept robust technology as soon as it comes out it's kind of stupid um, especially when it's as powerful as ChatGPT, AI in general you know a lot of schools high schools I get why preschool and middle school or like primary school and a bit of secondary school prohibited but after that like year 10 year 11 in the uk and college and university bro ai is your best friend <laughs> like get that through that shit because the reason why schools do that shit is not because schools hate ai school is fundamentally an institution to try to profit off children that's not a conspiracy it's true and there's nothing wrong with that because they, they have like value in a sense to give in terms of the qualification you, you guys with me here and when you can use ai to just speed run school the qualification loses an immense amount of value it's already like very low in value in, in the first place like if you think about it, because millions of students per year graduate with a stars or some shit let's say that uh, thing, that statistic goes up by two, two I think, two hundred percent, two times because two times, what is, yeah, two times because AI streamlines the process, whatever, to learn easier, and, you know, cheat on exams or whatever. What does this mean? It means that it's just super duper easy to get a qualification, and the qualification means nothing. Like, the value the school can provide it means nothing. So why people go to school? Parents will quickly catch on. Like, yeah, this is worthless. I don't care. I'm not sending my kids to school. I'll, I'll homeschool it myself. I'll make a curriculum myself. ChatGPT, and after that, I'll homeschool him, and then he'll he'll go about his own life, etc., etc. And he'll be fine. But um, for the most part, like <laughs> everything's gonna be fine, guys. It, change change happens slowly, and um, I wouldn't say it's exaggerated, but it's for sure. Vocal, vocal on the internet, like Luke Belmar, you know these guys, like, I do like Luke Belmar, wishing the best of success, but like, AI, AI will take over everything, people are stupid, people are slow, this is very unlikely to happen, that is the ultra-realistic response, um, yeah, like, it's more realistic to become a millionaire in the next five years, and AI will take over schools and education, it literally is, because within five years of hard work and grinding a business, you can provide a million dollars worth of value, School is notoriously slow. Like they use the imp like same infrastructure, same you know strategies and implementations like fifty years ago, hundred years ago, hundred and fifty years ago, even in English schools. So like say AI will you know replace schools is a lie. But like I said before, my previous point with parents, you know, condoning it. 
and parents, how do I say this, championing it to their children, and their children being forced pressure to go to school because of parental pressure, and societal pressure, and and like you know, friend pressure. Like all oh, your friends are going to uni, you're gonna to want to go to uni as well. Like I understand, like becoming an entrepreneur, becoming a, like a, an athlete or whatever it is. Usually they involve lo- very lonely paths, and it's very difficult for people to get into these paths. So yeah, I, it's not happening anytime soon. Um, five ten years is quick, but that's still a lot of time. You can do a lot in five years. <laughs> so yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.